early come up and work on this these talking points um so for the first one um why am i so busy right now um can can it wait and can it um so the thing about being an adult is um you you tend not to have breaks you're working all the time whether it's packing lunch for your children um teaching a class, teaching the world, things like that, you tend not to have breaks. So a lot of these kids, they're unaware of that. They go into the adult world, they're like, well, I had spring break in school, I had summer break in school, and they think it's um, business as usual. That's not the case we give you breaks like in preschool we know not to wear you out because your brain is still growing so in preschool i remember i had i had um time to nap after after a school day which is like three hours or so that's a lot for for someone who's three years old that's a lot so they need to take naps or else they'll be really cranky and you know so you need to know the development of the child so when you're in school even in college we know your brain is still developing so we give you summer break winter break all these breaks because we don't want to wear out your brain but we do want to push you though each time as you grow up, you get pushed a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, right? It's just like working out a muscle. You just get pushed a little bit more. And then you see that your breaks become more, less, 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 less needed as you become more of an adult. Um, that's why um, in school, I felt like my professors were pushing me because they're like, men, you're a genius, you can be pushed. So I didn't mind because um, I wanted to be more of an adult. I felt like I could handle that workload. So that's that's um, teaching kids about um, learning. Learning happens during your breaks. Your breaks become less as you grow up. Um, you just work harder and harder. Um, and then secondly, I'm um, why I'm strict. Um, the reason why I'm so strict is, um, your bad attributes are limiting your date opportunities and your job opportunities and your friends opportunities and opportunities to talk to one another because of your bad attributes. The reason why I'm so strict right now is I'm trying to limit those. It's so high. You have so many bad attributes. And what bad attributes are are just fetus. Like preschool, like you complain that you want your breaks or you complain that you don't want to learn. You complain about everything because you're still a fetus. You're still behaving like a child. That's what bad attributes are. They're childish behaviors in an in an adult world. So I'm trying to limit those childish behaviors so that your good attributes will show. Because right now your childish attributes are way too high. It's way too high. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to reduce it. Um, and, and show you good work ethic. I worked all day yesterday working on paintings. Uh, photograph paintings. I work, I wake up in the middle of the night when I have a new idea. I'm showing you what an adult good work, work ethic looks like so that you know what it looks like when you, when you're like, 
All right, I know what a preschooler looks like, but what does a, an adult work ethic look like? It looks like men. He works on his paintings all day. It's really deep in art history. And he wakes up middle of the night and he's still working. That's what an adult work ethic looks like. And now to, um, to date. Um, what type of girls do I prefer to date? Um, I prefer in everything in life is people who need me. Cause you have to need me. If you don't need me and you're um, competitive, that's not someone who I want to date. So if a girl is like, I'm smarter than you. Um, these are the reasons why. Um, I, I, I already see that as combative in a relationship. That's not how you should start it, a relationship. Like, oh, let's be competitive. That's not how I want to start a relationship or any conversation or anything. If you're joking around, okay, but if you're serious, like an adult, that's not how you want to start it. Um, so right away, I know I'm probably not going to, it's not going to work out with this person because they're, they're too competitive. Um, you want everything in life when it comes to human human interaction to be very easy because being a human being yourself is already hard you don't want to make it harder so you want it to be as easy as possible so how i see an easy relationship is is someone who needs me if you need me i'm always right right everything i say everything Everything is funny. Everything is always right. Um, if you're competitive, um, you're like, everything is wrong. Well, you're doing that wrong. Well, you're doing that wrong. You're doing that wrong. Because you're just competitive. It's not wrong. You're just too competitive. So when you need each other, everything's always right. It's like, oh, you're right here. You're right here. You're right here. Um... And then vice versa, when I need, what, what I need is to learn love. So when I need a girl, everything she says is right, right? So if she, if she questions my work ethic, if she questions, um, let's say um, my uh, multiverse mom, right? I need her to evaluate me at all times so i need her so she's like you're doing this wrong you need more love you need more of this and you need more love from your mom blah 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 and everything she says is right because i need her but let's say if i have a competitive mom where she's just in competition with me everything i'm doing is wrong you're doing this wrong you're eating wrong you're making the wrong friends. You're wrong, 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 wrong. You're always wrong. Well, that's just a parent who's competitive and not really being a parent. You're just being competitive with your child. So I wouldn't consider that as a good role model. Um, a good role model is someone who's really parenting. They're, they're really like, all right, I'm doing this because I'm evaluating you. I'm doing this because um, they just... You just, you just know you need each other. I don't need competition, but I need a parenting figure. I need that. Um, so that's what parents. Um, and then on the hierarchy of needs, what humans need. Um, they need to learn about themselves. Just like um, air particle is always air particle. Um, carbon is always carbon. Um, hydrogen is always hydrogen. It needs to always be itself. But when you're human, you get very complex because you're always learning and you're always growing. So you're like, oh wait, why did I do that? When I was three years old, why did I do that when I was 19 years old? Why did I do that when I was 33 years old? Why did I do that when I was 1 trillion years old? So you always constantly need to learn about yourself. 
um, and you want a partner that also needs to learn about you um, in order to know her or himself and not be competitive. You don't want that competitive energy. That's very, you don't, you just don't want that. Um, so that's what dating. And then lastly, I want to apologize to my professors. So to all your ex-girlfriends and all your ex-boyfriends and everyone who, who, who had, who showed interest in you and now you're dating someone else you want to apologize um you want to apologize because um they were invested in you and and this goes the same with my professors they were invested in you and you kept pushing them away that hurts so now you want to apologize now that you're dating someone else. Um, so, so, so what happens is, is they were invested and you kept pushing them away and why they would not date you again. Um, if there's a better option is it, you create a bad experience for them. So when they look at you, they just imagine a bad experience and they don't want to go back to that, which is totally fine. Like, People make choices. It's totally fine. It's all about being human. But at the same time, you want to remedy that bad feeling by apologizing. And how do you apologize? All right, that, this is the big one where a lot of people don't know how to apologize. Do you just say sorry? No, that's not good enough. When someone invests in you, they put their feelings into you. Um... It really hurts when you push when you when when they get pushed away. So you need it's more than an, an apology. You have to say what you learn from this person. So you taught me how to be more mature. You taught me how to be more self confident. You taught me how. You taught me how, and not to say sorry. So the same goes with um for an as an example. Um, for um, my professors, my professors invested in me. Let's say like it was like a date, but it. Th this is just an example to 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 help out. Um, they were invested in me. Here's another example of someone investing in you. Like say your parents. It can be parents, teachers, your coworkers, your teammates. They're investing in you. You want to apologize. So my professors were invested in me and I didn't live up to what I was claiming that I was a genius. I didn't live up to it. I was getting D's and F's. I was changing majors. Um, I wanted to be an NFL scout. I was, I was just all over the place. Um, so I didn't live up to it. So the reason, so now the reason why I'm creating so many works um, and so many YouTube videos um, on my college experience and on my artwork and, and on my thesis and all that is I'm trying to apologize and I'm trying to, and how I'm apologizing is, is I'm saying, um, look at how much I learned from you, um, from my professors whether it be in art, physics, or psychology, even though physics and psychology, I met them for a little bit, look at how much I learned from you, right? About work ethic, um, it could be physics, it could be psychology, even though I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, not, a I'm not as fast in, in, in math and in, in, in psych, I like psychology, but I, I'm not proficient in it. Um, but you taught me work ethic where you're like, where, um, when they notice talent and they're like, oh, you need to, you need to, um, you need to stop that preschool breaks 
and really work really hard like an adult would, like in a professional would. So they taught me how to be a professional. And that's what, and, and, and that's, that's from my professors, which they, they are profession, professionals. They're still in the field. They're still professionals. They work day and night. So they're teaching me how to be professionals. And from my art professors, um, though I didn't pick up on it at the time, I'm showing um, great skill in art history now. So I'm, I'm showing you, I'm showing Dr. Sire and um, Professor uh, Flattery and Dan Kasser and Brett DeBora and Lucinda Kasser and uh, Professor Little and any other professors uh, I've met. Um, look at how proficient I am in art history now because of what you taught me and in studio art because of what you taught me. So that's how I'm trying to apologize. I'm trying to apologize as much as I can by saying, by showing them how much I learned from them and what they taught me. So yeah, those are the, those are the three things I want to speak on is that, um, learning can happen during your breaks cause you need to grow up. And what I prefer in, in dating a girl and how to apologize, basically how to apologize. So those three things.